Supplier Confirmations. This is the new document type in S4HANA. They can be used to process and handle incoming confirmations from all your suppliers. Hello and welcome in today's McCoy TV. My name is Daniel Liebrex and I work as an SAP procurement consultant for McCoy & Partners. In this video, I will share how to manage your supplier confirmations. Today, we discuss the importance of supplier confirmations. Then we talk about the old way of handling them, followed up by the new way in SAP and ending with the upcoming improvements. Until now, the confirmations are part of the purchase process. You can enter them in the tab confirmations in the purchase order. But how are you managing deviations? What if confirmations change during the process? And how to connect different incoming channels like electronic messages or emails? The new way in SAP is anticipating on those questions. Because SAP decided to create a document type for supplier confirmations on the same level as other business objects. This gives you advantages in processing and managing the documents because it is an independent document. Before we dive deeper into the process of supplier confirmations, let us first understand why they are so important. Supplier confirmations help us to gain certainty about the receipt of orders, identify any delivery issues on time, and keep your inventory accurately updated. Besides that, purchase orders are legally binding contracts between the purchaser and the buyer. But that legal protection does not kick in until the purchase order confirmations take place. The purchase order is not confirmed and accepted by the supplier, it is not a contract. That's why you want to have a proper overview in your SAP environment. Is your organization ready for the upcoming improvements regarding supplier confirmations? Or are you curious on how the new supplier confirmation process can help your business? You can contact us via the link to our website in the description. SAP can help us to track those supplier confirmations with the following two Fiori applications. One, manage supplier confirmations, used to enter and track new supplier confirmations. And two, the manage workflow for supplier confirmations, used to create flexible workflows for the supplier confirmations added in the previous app. The first application let us manage supplier confirmations. This includes creating, editing and tracking. As you can see here, there is an overview of all confirmations and there is the option to create a new one by yourself. As confirmations can send to your organization via multiple channels, this is the place where they are entered into SAP. Here there are two options, Quick Create and Create. Quick Create lets you create a supply confirmation as ordered. You can click the button and then select a reference for the purchase order. The second option is the create option. Here you manually fill the attributes. Let's create one. Here you select the purchase order you want to create the confirmation for. This is based on all the purchase order in your system. After that, there's a possibility to select a line item. Then you see a difference in confirmation line and schedule line. The bottom one is what it should be based on the purchase order. And within the confirmation line, you can add the confirmed quantity and delivery date. So we add the delivery date here, which is set on the 31 of October. And we confirm that we have four pieces coming in. The supplier confirmation is added into SAP and let's see how to process them in the most efficient way possible. When a supplier confirmation is added, the flexible workflow is triggered. The workflow starts on the top. The supplier confirmation is checked on the steps you define and in the order as listed here. In this example, confirmation is first checked on quantity. Let's look into it. As you can see here, you define the starting conditions. These are all predefined conditions created specific for supplier confirmations. In this example, 
if the confirmed quantity is not equal to the order quantity, the workflow is triggered. This workflow consists of one step. You see here who the actor of the step is. If it is released, it goes to the next step in the flow. And if all approvals are given, the final step is the release of the confirmation. If you want to have more information on how to build these workflows and how the tasks look in your inbox, view the McCoy TV on flexible workflows. The link is in the description. Because this is a new functionality, SAP is expanding its functionalities. SAP is building an API and integration to other SAP solutions, with a focus on Ariba buying and invoicing products. A major upcoming improvement is the integration with Ariba network in your SAP S4HANA system. Then it is possible to automatically create supplier confirmations sent by your supplier over the Ariba network. And when it's automatically entered in SAP, the flexible workflow is triggered and a confirmation can be approved by your assigned people. We have now discussed the importance of supplier confirmations. You are now up to speed about the old way of handling supplier confirmations in correlation to the new way in SAP. And you are aware of the upcoming improvements. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, state them in the comments below and stay tuned for the next one.